The investigation was announced in London on Thursday by Ben Emerson, the special investigator for the UN Human Rights Council. The focus, according to Emerson, will be on about 25 drone strikes conducted over the past several years in Pakistan, Yemen, Somalia, Afghanistan, and Palestine. At the UN on Friday, a spokesman for Secretary General Ban Ki-moon said the deadly strikes raise legitimate legal concerns. The Secretary General has expressed concern by the use of armed drones for targeted attacks as it raises questions about compliance with the fundamental principle of distinction between combatants and non-combatants. Drone attacks also reportedly have caused substantial numbers of civilian casualties, raising questions about the ability to ensure full compliance with the principle of proportionality. Hawk added that Ban has urged relevant parties, in this case the U.S., U.K., and Israel, to be transparent about the circumstances in which drones are used. The U.S. said that it will comply, but there are no such assurances from the U.S., which has run its drone assassination program under deep secrecy, mainly through the CIA. Much of the concern has to do with U.S. strikes over Pakistani territory, which have killed thousands, including hundreds of civilians and nearly 200 children. Pakistan's U.N. Ambassador Masood Khan is the current Security Council president, but he couldn't comment on the investigation in that capacity Friday because the council has never taken up the subject of drone strikes. We did speak with Ambassador Khan in his national capacity after the Security Council briefing, however, and he was quite clear. He said that American drones violate Pakistan's sovereignty every time they hit. Our position is that uh, these drones, uh, they... Uh, violate sovereignty and territorial integrity of Pakistan. Uh, we have also said that they uh, are not productive. In fact, they are counterproductive because they alienate local population. Uh, if there's uh, civilian uh, casualties, if there are civilian casualties, collateral damage. The notion that drone strikes increase anti-Americanism in Pakistan and the other countries hit by drone strikes doesn't seem to be holding water in the White House. U.S. President Barack Obama has ramped up the strikes to the point where they average nearly one per day since the beginning of 2013. Khan says that Pakistan has made its points clear on that subject. That's our position and uh, I think that um, uh, we've been talking to the United States government about our concerns and uh, even in the recent past, there have been contacts about that. The protests come from within the U.S. as well, with the American Civil Liberties Union filing lawsuits against the CIA for answers, particularly about the three U.S. citizens the strikes have killed. Hina Shamsi of the ACLU said in a statement that the U.S. is virtually alone in its claimed authority to kill declared enemies far from any battlefield. The U.S. government has said that it has a legal process for ordering the assassination strikes, but it has so far kept that process secret. Emerson's investigation is slotted for nine months and the results will be announced before the UN General Assembly in October or November. Hank Flynn, Press TV, New York.